So apparently two apples plus two apples doesn't always equal four apples. I want to follow up to the quick video I did about Jordan Peterson's situation that exemplifies that kind of illogical perspective on it. It really fundamentally boils down to the existence or belief in objective truth and reality. There are folks out there that are fighting for asserting that two plus two might not equal four based on a person's experience in life. And I remember as an educator, I would share when I would do professional development with educators, I'd say something like this, look, if two plus two does not equal four for a first grader, let's say that we allow this train to keep running down the track it's running down in the waning of objective truth and reality to a first grader, let's say, they say, no, I don't believe two plus two equals four. And how in the world are we going to educate them in mathematics beyond that? If two apples plus two apples may or may not end up with four apples. How do you teach geometry, physics, calculus, well, any science? And that's the point. The point I was making in my previous video regarding Jordan Peterson is that what he's contending against fundamentally is this irrationality that I have to subscribe to something that is not objectively real or true or in another facet of this you can't compel speech you can't force me to say or believe something that isn't objectively real or true and you know maybe birds aren't real i love that movement birds aren't real because it's pointing at that that issue and here's what i think i think the reason that we are moving in this direction among other things is that the human race has decided i i I want, we want, no standards that hold us to any level of accountability. None, right? Don't tell me two plus two equals four. Don't tell me that an XY chromosome uh, equates to a biological male. Don't tell me that. And I realize there are those out there that took a debate class in high school or college and you're thinking, oh, here we go, a slippery slope argument. We're already on that slippery slope. The reality is if you look at the last 15, 20 years, philosophically, ideologically, particularly in the West, we're already sliding down that hill. And where that ends up is a total subjectivity, total moral relativism, that that red stop sign may or may not mean stop. And the list goes on and on and on. And if someone says, again, that's a slippery slope argument, just look back historically at where we were 20 years ago or 40 years ago or 10 years ago and see where we are today. So I have to say, and many of you have already commented on my other video, that what Jordan Peterson is standing up against is not legislation in Canada. He's standing up against the reality of objective truth and reality. And that's important for us.